Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Coco, and my name of my channel is Slay by Coco K. Um, we're gonna get right into the video. I had to fill in blue ombre in my last very long ass video, and I'm experiencing some severe fucking lifting. Um, like I said, I am not a professional. I ain't nobody's professional. I never claimed to be a professional, but I am a at-home DIYer doing it her damn selfer. And I've been doing this for two years, and I was doing some, some lifting, so I had to give myself a fill-in. This is my Melody Susie drill. I will link it in the description box below. This shit is bomb. I bought it off Amazon. It's rechargeable and wireless. Like, you don't have to, like, leave it, plug into the wall or whatever. You can, like, take it with you, do what you gotta do. I am using my, I think this is the medium one. Uh, a uh, uh, round safety bit. It's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I bought it from Happy Nail Supply in Forest Park, or I bought it from the other really big one. I have to find the name of it, and I'll put that in the description box, too. That is my ceramic drill bit. Um, it is sharp as fuck, and I think I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna turn this shit down. I'm turning this drill down because that guy's sharp, he go hard. I'm turning it up for now, but I'm gonna show you that I'm turning it down because I was like doing myself, trying to get this shit off my fucking fingers. Okay, so um, pretty much I'm just like, I don't know. At first I would just like to apologize about the camera angles. I am new to the game, honey. I made some videos before. But them kind of videos didn't have got nothing to do with no dang on angles. So, uh, yes. Yeah. So, excuse my angles in the uh, video. I edited it out as much as I could possibly so you can see what's actually going on. So, right now, um, I am just starting from that cuticle area, going where the lifting is like the worst. I'm going up in there and I'm getting it off. Um, I'm trying to avoid my natural nail bed, my nail plate, because... Ain't nothing wrong with my damn nail. I want to help them filing it off. It's not healthy. It's not right. So you stay on the acrylic as much as possible. And that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm taking my time. I'm also uh, trying to do better at moving the drill in one fucking direction. You know? Um, that's just what I've seen on the tube, on the YouTube channels. And uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. So that's what I'm doing pretty much. And um yeah i'm going to come back in a little bit and um when i feel the need to say something i'll come back and say something but i'll let you watch this and listen to my music that has no copyright claim okay so i'm just showing you the how i filed away all the lifting mostly it's not moving is solid i'm just gonna do this on this hand this is a fuck hand i hate this hand because it's i'm right-handed so it's my non-dominant hand and it's not fun it just don't be fun so i'll be trying to do that one first really when i do my acrylic because i want to take my time on that guy and make him perfect and then i want to have fun on the fun hand um same thing on this side of my hand I am pretty much just filing that lift off, man. Um, this thumb, we're fast forwarding. You know, this was a couple of days ago, um, like a week ago. So I think I did this Tuesday, last week, and it's Monday. So a week ago, a week ago. Um, that thumbnail comes off eventually at some point in time. It's great, guys. It's great. It's just out here. That is my tomato. It's from my grandmother's to, um, sewing kit. Um, it still has the original needles in it. Uh, I use it. You know how they have the, the, the nail dial, Feynman? First off, welcome to my channel. And secondly, y'all gonna know that your girl is cheap as shit balls. I am cheap when it comes to certain things. So I'm not from the bottom nail foul diamond. When I have my grandma's tomato and I can pull that out the box and like hold that guy down. And it still is, is as efficient, if not more, and if not more comfortable than one of them big ass diamonds. So, um, yes, uh, slow progression here. Thumb, uh, point your finger. I know I'm on the fuck you finger. Just getting that lift off. I've switched bits in between this, in between the two. The, the gold guy and that ceramic guy. 
I like safety bits because they allow you to get down in that cuticle area and just like really clean it up and work it out. Um, yeah, but I did buy a new bit. I know I said I promised y'all some unboxing, but I also been working. I got a full fuck freaking set. Fucking, I'm just gonna say fucking. It's my channel. I mean, full schedule. A bitch work 37.3 hours a week. And I've been going down to the other store, the other advanced auto parts in my area because, like, I need more hours, et cetera, et cetera. Need more money so I can buy more stuff to unbox and try out for you guys. So, uh, yeah, I've been busy. Um, I'd also like to say um, this video is much shorter. Thank God. It's only 35 minutes long. And um, I'd like to think I edited it better this time. Your girl got what she called them transitions. Um, I give a shout out to uh, iMovie. <laughs> iMovie is on the iPhone. I have an iPhone 13 from uh, at and I love my phone. I love my service. I have no complaints or whatsoever except for, um, I, that's another video. I bought some storage or whatever and it pl plopped out on me while I was doing my sister's nails. I had to call Apple people on the phone. And it was like, oh, girl, now you know you're supposed to delete that stuff and save it to the cloud. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know. So, problem fixed. Anyways, videos galore. Videos galore. Um, yes, I am just trying to get this stuff off my hand, honey. I had to clear cap that guy because that was the one with my little tie-dye design in it. And they're always really hard to get off. Um, I want to say that I like, um... Seven, uh, four plus two is six. Six of my nails out of ten. Two of them came out just the fuck ugly. And then uh, we'll see those little ugly fuckers at the end. But like I said, I'm new. I'm trying things. I'm trying designs. I'm trying to figure out what I like, what I can do, what I'm capable of. So that's just all in practice. I'm Like I said on my last video, I'm not going to not show y'all what it is. And what it's not like if I fuck up, then fuck up. If it's great, it's great. But at least it is what it is. So um yes. Um now I am going to just shape. Shape, shape, shape. I got that shit off my hands or off my fingers. And um I'm shaping and also uh fouling off the acrylic a little bit more and smoothing it out, I guess you would say. Still trying to stay away from my natural nail. Excuse my camera angles, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I think this is one of the files I got from the beauty supply store. It's one of them straight edge ones. It's not as strong as I would like personally, but you know, like I said, the girl cheap, so she got the cheapy cheapers. But I'm realizing now that the more sturdier your file is, the crispier your shape will come out. Cause your file ain't flexing and bending with all your moves. And I be wondering why Laura, like I can't get my situation straight and crispy. And like, I know why, but you know, don't act like you don't know. So yeah, um, off camera still with the fucked up angles. <laughs> straight up, <laughs> fucked up angles, but it's cool. I'm getting better. I bought a tripod ring light. So my next couple of videos are gonna be fucking lit. Um, literally and figuratively, the lighting on the bitches is great. I already had a good three-point lighting system going on there, but this ring light, like, brings it to a whole another tape, uh, situation. It's a whole nother level. I'm gonna link that in the description box. All right, so what I'm doing now is cleaning my nails with some 99% rubbing alcohol. You can pick this up, you know, where the fuck ever. And, um, I'm just cleaning because that's a dusty activity. I actually had to pull out my, um... There's a dust collector built into the table that I bought from Wayfair that I forgot to link, I think, in a fucking description box, but I'm going to link in one of these fucking description boxes. And it's cool and everything, but when I do refills and shit like that, and I'm taking off shit or filling in color change, blah, 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 dusty dust, dusty busty, um, I am going to have the preference of uh, the dust collector, my other dust collector I got off Amazon, which I will, I think I've already linked in my last video. This is some just some nail dehydrator from Auto Ones. Your girl ran out of Young Nails Primer. The, uh, uh, I forgot what the fuck they call that shit. Hmm. I can't remember. But I ran out and it was so sad and I should have recorded it because I turned the bottle all the way upside down and was shaking it like, no. And it lasted me, boy. It lasted me. I got one of the starter kits from Young Nails when I first like started doing acrylic because I started on dip powder. 
And that fucking, whatever the fuck that shit is, I can't remember, Super Bond. Uh, it, oh my God, it's just, it was, at first I didn't know how to use it, because I was like, why is it so fucking sticky? Uh, but then I figured it out, and I was like, oh shit. And then like the retention in my nails. So honestly, I've been experiencing mucho gracias, un, well no gras, no mas lifting since I ran out of um, motherfucking Young Nails Primer. Now that's my Savvy Land Clear Acrylic. I just got some good, better acrylic from Valentino. Um, it's four ounces. It does the job. It does the job better when I get my liquid to monomer ratio right with that clear. If I don't, it ends up looking bulky. And it's just hard for me to get off my nail and, like, working it off and stuff. Once again, excuse the camera angles. And then y'all also, like I said in my last video, I do most of my nail activity on my off days. Ain't nobody doing no hair. Don't come at me sideways, you know. If you want to comment, cool, but don't come at me sideways. Because I ain't doing nothing on my off days except for what the fuck I want to do. Because, you know, I work for a living, god dang it. And... Um, I already have to deal with people telling me what to fucking do all the time at my job. I don't want to deal with that at the house. So, at home, I'm doing the fact I want to do. So, what I'm doing right now is uh, just laying a clear layer of acrylic. I cannot remember who, because I watch so many videos. I be at work, bruh. One of the TV screens at my uh, computer screen at my work has two job, uh, two computer screens, and I be packed there, posted up, watching YouTube videos. I be watching, bruh. So, um, I seen this from one of the YouTubers. They be placing a layer of that thin, uh, acrylic uh, thin layer of the clear to kind of strengthen up the nail because clear is the strongest of the powders and like help me prevent lifting keep the nail stable etc etc because you know i be out there in the street so after all the clear layer is on i um forgot what color blue i used and i was very unsure so i had to swatch um, but it also worked out because I needed to put the colors on top of the pots anyway. So we can figure out what the fuck it is without opening it. Um, just giving it a little stir. That's my shit brush. Brush. Um, I'm going to use my shit brush, I think. And um, But when I do my sister's nails in one of these next videos that I upload, um, I use my good brush from the Beauty Supply store. I mean, not the Beauty Supply, the nail supply. This piece of shit right here on my table, that pink piece of shit, that's Glam and Glitz. That's some bullshit. I'm sorry. I don't mean to trash them like that. Maybe it's the color. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. That's also a possible, um, uh, 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 you know, explanation. But boy, when I swatched that glam and glitz, that shit, you're going to see, the, like, the, the reaction I had. I wish I wouldn't have took all the volume out of the video. I wish I could have left it in because just cussing my ass off because I could just not understand why I was so chalky and dry and runny like clay glue paste the fuck that is I did with and I know my liquid monomer uh, ratio was correct because I have to add some more fucking monomer to it and I know because it was already wet wet it was wet wet like some wet badge I don't want to fucking stand so whatever bruh anyways it's gonna happen um, I'm gonna let y'all watch that enjoy the um, music with no copyright claim So yeah, I put the top on that quickly, and honey, that's the glam and glitz. Um, that's the colors starting with the N N C A NCA for some blah blah blah. We're link, and I'm not linking in description box below because I don't, I don't support that bullshit. Look at that shit. What the fuck is that? Somebody supporting that? 
be honest. You need my honesty review. You need a review. You want somebody to keep it real? I'm the realest bitch you'll ever meet because I ain't gonna lie. Not about this shit. Yeah, I can't. I can't even. In my real life, I'm already going through the go-through. Uh, that's a Model 1s. It's so pink, it's almost white. And I'm like, okay, well, that was not the pink that I used. So I put the top back on that bitch immediately. And I was like, oh, no. What about my swatchy? So I'm going to scrape my swatchy and put him on my pot. Now, I know there are more ways to do this. I've seen um, C's tutorials. Girl, I love you. If you ever, ever watch one of my videos, bitch. And nails by Key. I love y'all, too. And um, lovely Mimi. Girl, something wrong with you in the best way. And I love you so much. I shouted you out. Oh, dang, y'all. My view is also pen leaking because I'm holding it upside down in my hand because I'm doing this voiceover. Anyways, I love lovely Mimi. I shouted her out in one of my videos because I seen her use that big ass brush. That's what made me go out there and get the big, the big good brush from the beauty plot. I mean, nails plot. Anyways, I know they have the little circle things and there are better ways to do this with the nails, but fuck that. Put that shit on the top. Top ain't going nowhere. You know where it go. Okay, so I figured out, hey, boom shakalaka, that's the pink that I used. And now we're just going to start the process. I wish the bitch had some primer looking back at this. Um, that's my new bead. You can do the bead. Smoosh them down with a bead. And um, get my brush together. My little shit brush. That's my shit brush. Yeah, I'm just going to smooth his ass out, honey. Get him on there. So while I was doing this, y'all, I kind of lost my mind. And um, that's just the best way to say it. I don't know. I be going color decoration crazy and shit. I have color issues. <laughs> I was just excited to fuck up. I guess that's the best way to say it. But it was good, though. Just me getting that free edge coverage. The solid color. And if like you don't want to, you know, full cover of the nail. I hate them see-through nails. You can see through to the, the light go all the way through the nail. Because the color is not, I guess, okay enough. And translucent guys unless it's like some jellies then you know that's acceptable but girls are called color for a reason so <laughs> color on the nail <laughs> um i am learning different stuff different things i guess and um when i normally do my nails i start at the little tip if it's like a fresh set or something i start at the tip like i did before and add that um be right there to kind of secure it down but I seen somebody, I seen the young nails. It was Greg, crazy self. Uh, he, we were talking about apex structures because the apex on these suckers are. <laughs> You'll see at the end of the video. Anyways, them apexes, apexes are large, honey. Ain't no mountain high enough. I'm adding that dark blue in because, like I say, I go color crazy. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just ombre this out. And see, the thing about ombre, I'm realizing the more I do it, the better it looks. Not saying that it looked good, but the more I do it, the more less shit it looks. Not saying it don't look good, because it don't, but it don't look that bad. It's the last time I did it. You know what I mean? Progress, people, progress. Anyways, Greg, Young Nails, they were talking about building the apex and having it in the right place, et cetera, et cetera, and not looking all bulky in the backside. And they start at that cuticle area and let the push cuticle bead up, fill in a little cuticle gap, and um, then let the bead run down. So I'm excited to do a suck off on these motherfuckers eventually and um, try it that way. Um... I am currently missing my thumbnail, and I'm experiencing lifting on my thumb on my left and my thumb and my uh, index finger on my right. Everybody else is secure as fuck in life. Oh, and my index finger on my right. And everybody else is secure. So the last three fingers are secure. So that's just telling me that the fingers I use the most is those are the guys that are catching that action. Shit. <laughs> They're getting the stress. Uh, moving forward, just, you know, brushing that, them beads back and stuff. Brushing them beads back. Y'all know I brush forward, back, side to side, round to round, and up and down. Because that I want my applications to be smooth. 
to kill my filing time because I know I take forever. So let's talk about timing. You see my video long as hell. How the fuck you thong you think these shits be taking me? They be taking me the fuck forever, man. This is a day's worth of work. So I'm working on getting um faster. That's why I got the little timer. But um also, I don't know. I'm just I think I'm going to stop and put a turtle right here. Okay, well, the video editor app I use, I will link in the description box. I can't find that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I can't find that damn turtle. Um, the motherfucker was there last week because I, I used him and several times in my first YouTube video ever because it's slow as fuck. So that's why I used the turtle. It seemed appropriate and now I can't find it. And my stickers aren't loading. And it's like 5G at the top of my phone, but she's not happening. Anyways, so I am just blending in my ombre, trying to get better. It's a dark blue ombre at the cuticle, like bead, and then it's that light blue color. Eventually, I think I'm gonna come to a point where I put uh, the wrong color in the wrong place. I scrape that shit the fuck off. That's great. Uh, sorry you can't see. I'm sorry my face is down here. I'm sorry you have to see the side of my hairy ass face that was in my attention but like i said i got the fucking ring light so hopefully it's gonna improve the quality of my videos but in the meantime yes ma'am this is where we're at so i'm just working these fingers down son um just working them down working them down working them down pretty much I'm smooshing my cuticle area. You can't see it, but that's me getting that area nice and smooth. But I wish I'd have looked at my nails from the reverse because, like I'm gonna say, I'm showing to show you in the end the cuticle area though. Jesus. Thank you. 
All right, y'all. So this is when I went kind of cuckoo for fucking Cocoa Puffs. All the Cocoa Puffs. All the Cocoa K's. Um, and um, I didn't like the way my ombre was turning out. So I added glitter. And did the glitter fade. Um, it is a Model 1 color. These are the nails that I like the most. And I'm probably going to redo this design. Different color, different glitter. I don't know. It's just fire. I'm looking at it now. And it's still cute. Even though my apexes are ugly. It's still super cute. I like it. Oh, it's one of them four nails on my left hand. And they the fucking fire, son. <laughs> I ain't going to hold you. You know, sometimes you run up on your work. After practicing your trade or your craft your hobby or whatever for so long and then you surprise yourself like even if it isn't perfect I'm like looking at it and I'm like oh good glory god I'm just happy I'm happy with it so I'm just doing a little bit of a glitter fade I play a lot of not a lot but a, de a decent size amount at the top and then I brush it back um excuse my cheek my little hairy cheek I'm like a little werewolf um just finishing out that nail, you know. Um, while I was watching a video, uh, I was looking at my brush and I was like, yeah, that's not 100% clear. See, anything is a, it's my shit brush. But, you know, I want to get a better brush and a smaller size because the brush I have now, I think it's like a 12 or a 14. And it's just real big because, you know, I was chasing lovely Mimi dreams. And my fingers are small. I don't know why I'm tripping like that. I need like an 8. I want a good 8 or a good 10. So, I'm just definitely on the purchase wish list for things to unbox. Um, I've heard good things about Panna and Kiara Sky. Um, yeah, but honestly, the nail supply brushes, they be expensive, but I love them. <laughs> Uh, the long nails, pretty hair brush I had. I fucked it up. Didn't know what I was doing. And I also like a pressed brush. That pointy shit is for the birds. And um, yeah, I prefer to go to the beauty, the nail supply. Stop saying beauty supply store, Coco. What the fuck? Um, I prefer to go to the nail supply store and get a pre-pressed brush or have them press the brush. And they do it for free at the one I go to down the street from my house, the Happy Nail. I cannot remember the name of the other one. It is also in Forest Park. Um, but you gotta have a license. And that's another one of the places I go with my rich bitch clothes on and my mask and my Versace shades. Cause I, girl, I wanna look like I'm somebody. Don't ask me no questions. Cause I got no license, but I got the money. And also, if you buy a, at least $100 worth of stuff, they're not gonna be questioning you. What you, who, what you questioning? You wanna turn my money away? I don't think so. So they're pretty lenient, you know. It's business, business to business. So thank you. <laughs> and I guess it's a good thing that I don't say their name. But everybody know Happy Nail Supply. They with the shits. So just moving on to the actual application process. Just trying to get through this shit. And uh, what I regret the most about this is that I did not make them all blue. Um, I'll do some weird shit with the pink shit and encapsulating hearts and all that shit. We been doing all that shit. That shit was stupid. Stupid girl. Stupid girl. Um, always the best thing I learned that was the thing that helped me progress the most was some damn sidewalls and padding and shaping the acrylic as you put it on. And don't let it just droop over, you know, and just do the fucking most and run everywhere because it's going to take down on your shaping time in the long run, bro. You ain't going to have to shape them bitches that hard. So, yeah, I'm just brushing the back, getting it on there. We are almost done with the video, guys. Um, it is very a chopped down version. You don't get to see everything that I did, but I did do some stuff, and you can see it at the end. And my, you know, ain't no amount high enough uh, apexes. Try my whole life. Um, I think I'm about to do the blue. I like to move my colors away from each other on the table because I tend to do that stupid shit like I'm going to do eventually. I don't know if I um, edited it out or not. Oh, I did. You don't even get to see that. So guess what, guys? It's the freaking end of the video. That's that pink bullshit hearts and capillation shit. I lost my mind, Lord. I lost my mind. Excuse my room. Girl, I ain't out here. Just live her best life. 
Um, yeah, so that's the glitter shits I did, bro. Them blue ones turned out okay. Them boys chunky, they thick, but they are fucking pretty, boy. Bought them some pretty boys. Damn, boy. Getting them pretty boys from. Now, okay, so that one was ugly, and I had tried to cover up with glitter, and I just glitterized itself. Glitterati, that index finger. Damn. But, Jesus Christ, you got to get better, man. But I would like to say some of these cuticle works are lit. That pinky, though, she flooded. She the great flood. But these cuticle works are lit, though. These cuticle works are lit. Now, that's the hump I was talking about. There ain't no mountain high enough. Oh, my God, the mountain is so high enough. Oh, God, the mountain high enough, bitch. Good God. Oh, oh, oh. But, you know, did the best I could. I did the best I could, y'all, on a short notice. I wish I have to get faster so I can be more efficient. Uh, this is me when I'm at work in the sunshine. I was catching them glitter boys, the glitter Roddy boy. Yay! Boy, the boys is cute, though. So, um... Follow me on social media. I am uh, at Slave by Coco K. I'm trying to interact more, but I ain't never, like, camera ready. So, y'all ain't probably never going to see my face. So, I'm going to start talking to y'all more. Like, subscribe, and enjoy. And thank you guys so much.